Welcome back to the Rise and Grind Workshop. If you're new here, my name is Ryan, and this channel is dedicated to everything CNC lasers, routers, and anything cool you would see in your workshop. And today's video is made possible by the amazing team over at Omtech Laser Engravers. Now, if you're a current subscriber and you already watched my Ultimate Omtech CO2 Buyer's Guide, you're gonna know exactly what to expect during this MOPA Fiber Laser unboxing and review series. And just like the CO2 unboxing, my entire goal for this series is to make sure you feel confident in knowing which laser to select, how it's gonna to get to your doorstep, how you're gonna move it into your workspace, unbox it, get it all hooked up, set up, and laser engraving your first job. And just to make things easier for you guys, I will link that video series down below in the description. Just make sure you guys finish this sweet video first and give it a thumbs up if you got any value. So speaking of freight shipping, let's go ahead and clear the air and separate the difference between the brand own tech and a third party shipping company. Unfortunately, anytime you're shipping large items like this, it doesn't matter what company you are, you're gonna be at the mercy of hiring a third party freight company. And if you've been on this earth for any amount of time, you will know how terrible the freight shipping industry is. There's nothing you can do about it. The first company, which I believe was AFB Freight, that delivery went as smooth as possible. My second delivery for my Omtech fiber laser was a nightmare, and that was with a company called T-Force. And again, Omtech has nothing to do with that. You'll need to be in touch with a third-party shipper and be in touch with the management or their distribution system and be on top of them. And once you've completed that checkout process, you'll most likely get a confirmation email from Omtech. Then once the third-party shipper picks up and receives the unit, they will reach out to you directly, either phone or email. In my particular case, on the first two units, they reached out via cell phone and we set up a day and time that I could meet the delivery truck driver. Now, as you guys know, I really like to film the entire process so you guys can really see what you're getting into. Unfortunately, here we go talking about those third-party shippers. I open up my front door and this was sitting on my front doorstep one day. So again, if delivery is gonna be a problem for you, just make sure you coordinate that with Omtech and the third-party shipping company and you shouldn't have any issues. Now, this is my third Omtech unit and as you can see, they take great care and detail when packaging these lasers to prevent damage in the shipping process. If you live in a typical residential neighborhood, your truck driver is most likely gonna have a lift gate and a pallet jack, and you can simply direct the driver where you'd like him to drop your new laser unit off. Now here's a pro tip for you that might save you a lot of heartache. Anytime you're expecting a freight delivery, if the item shows up damaged, it's best to simply refuse the delivery right there and let the shipper take that back and have the company send you out a new unit. Once you sign for that delivery and you open up the box, that's where the game of customer service back and forth really begins. Now this is my third unit to show up and all three have shown up with no major damage. Now, somebody will ask, so I might as well knock it out before we get to it. So we got 18 tall, 24 deep, 34 wide. So like I said earlier, your standard freight delivery is gonna have a lift gate. Your driver will drop this off inside your garage or workspace. If you're in a position like me where you have a detached workshop, you will need to go ahead and get this unit all the way to your workshop. The Omtech website states that this particular model is 66 pounds. I believe that's the weight of the unit, not the entire box here. Now, at this point, you might be saying to yourself, well, Ryan, what is that contraption you have your laser sitting on? I need one of those. Well, I got you covered. This is from Harbor Freight, and it's called a hydraulic lift table. They make two different options. Just make sure that the weight rating capacity suits your needs. This bad boy has been a game changer. I use it all the time in my shop. I highly recommend you pick one up. Now this particular unit you see here in the box, I will have linked down below and I'll throw a little information graphic on the screen for you as well. This happens to be their 100 watt MOPA fiber laser. And yes, this is the one that's gonna get you those amazing colors that you see on their stainless steel. And this Omtech brand is powered by a JPT power supply. Now, just a quick word of caution, I've unboxed a couple of these different units and Omtech does a really good job with securing their lasers inside of these crates. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure you have the proper tools, make sure you wear some gloves. There's this uh, metal strapping that goes all around the perimeter of this box and it's got these really sharp teeth that dig into this quarter inch material here. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a screwdriver and show you how you get these tabs undone. And then we're just gonna go ahead and film a montage of me unboxing this thing. Gotta break the dust off those bad boys. Shows you how often I use them. So basically grab yourself a screwdriver and you're gonna wanna get these three tabs undone. That's gonna allow you to peel these teeth off of the front strap here.
So as you guys can see, this thing has some really gnarly teeth. That's why I said throw some gloves on, take your time, and uh, it's gonna take a little bit of elbow grease to get these straps off of here. If you know exactly what these things are called, drop a comment below. You always, always, always get bonus points for a good yeet. Well, that went pretty smooth as evident by not getting impaled by some metal shark teeth. Now we're on to the magic part of the video where we get to reveal what's inside this box. Can you smell that? That's 100 watts of pure MOPA fiber laser, baby. So at this point of the unboxing, you can clearly see they've done a phenomenal job protecting the laser unit inside. Unfortunately, during shipping, sometimes these things are gonna get damaged. I know we see a lot of complaints online, but guys, at the end of the day, they're doing a phenomenal job packaging these. Now, it's totally up to you. You can continue breaking down the box to remove the rest of the components and get them on your work table, or you can be like me. I'm gonna go ahead and reposition this unit and get it up on the table by myself. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just reach inside the crate and grab all the loose components. Once I get this stuff on the work table, we'll go over what all's included in the box. Now this is an expensive laser unit, so once again, I recommend you get somebody to help you do this or finish breaking down the box so you can move it over to your work table in a safe manner. So once you have the main machine and the laser tube head removed, you're gonna be stuck with this giant maze of styrofoam in here, and you're gonna now wanna extract the base out of here. I'm gonna try to reach in here and get some of this extra foam out, that way I don't have any hangups getting this base out. This is gonna be your vertical stand where you mount the laser head on top, and this is gonna be your work area. So we gotta get this over here on the table. So let's see if we can get this thing out. No problem. Came out nice and easy. And let's pause here for a quick pro tip, and I wanna share something with you. When I give you a pro tip, that most likely means I've experienced this on the negative end one way or another. Don't. I would highly recommend before you dismantle this box or throw any of that stuff away, really go through the box and make sure you have every item that was inside this box out on the table. Don't ask me how I know that. Now at this point in the video, some of you might actually be wondering what exactly is a MOPA fiber laser? MOPA is an acronym for Master Oscillator Power Amplifier. Now, one of the major differences between a fiber laser and a MOPA fiber laser is the ability to engrave colors on metals such as stainless steel and titanium, whereas a normal fiber laser will only etch or mark that a black or darker material. Now, one thing to keep in mind that nobody tells you about, anytime you're dealing with a material like stainless steel or titanium and you're engraving these bright, bold colors, that's gonna oxidize and start to rust you always need to make sure you protect that coating with some sort of a clear coat. So let's go ahead and touch base on some of the other pros of a fiber laser versus a CO2 laser. Right out the gate, they're much smaller and easier to manage. If you don't have a large workspace, these can fit inside a small home office or inside your garage. Although they have a higher initial purchase price, what you see is what you get. You don't need to buy an additional chiller or upgrade any type of exhaust fans. And when it comes to maintenance, you have far less moving components to deal with. One of the fascinating things about a MOPA fiber laser is it works on a series of pulses, hertz, and frequencies, and by adjusting those, you can really fine tune and control how you're marking your various materials. This particular unit is powered by a JPT power supply. Some of the lower end models will use a Rakus brand. So you really need to be careful when researching your fiber laser as the JPT laser and a Rakus laser will give you different results. If you already know what product you wanna make or the niche you wanna jump into, that's gonna help you make the right decision right out the gate first. At the end of the day, if the budget allows, I would always go with a MOPA Galvo fiber laser. That way you have the ability to do the color and just the black as well. And as you can see, these fiber lasers have a much different working area. This is an aluminum base with a fixture table attached to it. You will no longer need to be cleaning that dirty honeycomb. So obviously we could talk about a lot of the pros with one of these MOPA fiber lasers. Let's talk about some of the cons. And I gotta be honest with you, this is one of the few pieces of machinery that I own inside my shop that really has very few cons. Right out the gate, we've already talked about it, your initial price point, it's gonna be heavy. These Ohmtech MOPA fiber lasers range in power from 20 watts up to 100 watts. If you really wanna do deep 3D engravings, you're gonna wanna stick with a 50 watt or above. If you're looking for a very small, powerful, compact laser that's gonna allow you to scale your business and break into a new niche and stop competing with everybody that has a small CO2 laser, I would 
would really recommend you take a look at the Ohmtech line of fiber lasers. And if the budget allows, I would really look at the MOFA laser. However, I will caution, these fiber lasers are not meant to engrave on wood. So if you're dreaming about everything wood, you're gonna wanna look at the CO2 lasers, not these fiber lasers. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That was the complete unboxing of my 100 watt MOFA Galvo fiber laser. So again, big thank you to the team over there at Omtech for sending this out. I truly hope you guys gained a lot of value out of this video. And if you're looking at purchasing an Omtech CO2 laser or an Omtech fiber laser, make sure you use my discount code RNG products five off. I will have that link down below. And I also have a link to the Omtech website in my bio. And anything you see in my guys' videos, you guys can also take a look at my Amazon store. I only put products on this channel and in my store that I personally use and trust. And as always, if you guys made it this far into the video, big thank you. I appreciate each and every one of you that support this channel. Go ahead and drop a comment below and let me know what other topics you would like me to cover. At the end of the day, I make these videos to help and educate you guys. We'll catch you on the next video.